Hey guys, uh, quick hopper hot take here on a Sunday afternoon. Athletic trainers, quit being hypocritical. Stop it. This week, obviously, everything on social media in the athletic training world is all surrounding around the Miami Dolphins and their handling of their quarterback Sunday, Thursday, throughout the week, whatever. They may be wrong. They probably are wrong. It looks like they're wrong. But gosh dang it, leave them alone. We weren't there. Social media in the athletic training world is blowing up about this. Those same athletic trainers who moan and groan all the time on social media about parents and coaches and administrators who second guess their actions at the secondary school level, at the college level, whatever the case may be. But yet, they have no problem going after the medical staff of an NFL team. Look, again, from what we can see on video, yes, it looks like they were wrong and they screwed that up. There's no doubt in my mind. But we weren't there to see all of it. So we don't know what happened. Today, it breaks that J.J. Watt apparently had AFib earlier this week and had some sort of a procedure done that put him back into a normal heart rhythm. And he's going to be on the field today. And as soon as that news broke, we've got athletic trainers on social media going, up, going on again about how the NFL is screwing this up and how these, these uh, medical staffs don't know what they're doing and blah, 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 blah. Quit! Just quit. For a long time, we've talked about how pediatrics and, and young, young kids are not just small adults. They're not. Well, guess what? These NFL players aren't just big kids. Physiologically, they're not just big kids. So the way that we think we need to treat our high school athletes, our middle school athletes, whatever the case may be, is different than the way you treat a professional athlete who is a grown man. And it's time we quit pretending that we know what goes on better than these NFL staffs do. Because we don't. Sometimes it's embarrassing to be in our profession just based on social media and the way that people attack other healthcare providers on social media and have no problem doing it. Promote the profession. Quit tearing it down. That's today's Hopper Hot Take.